and have been doing some programming. I think the programming is about as much fun as inventing these things. So this is just my own design, stuff I came up with. And much like the, you know, the actual instructional type stuff, you do things modular and everything works out better. So I just got to bring things together. So I made modular action motor drive tracks. And it'll be easier to see how those are modular when I tip this thing up. Okay. It's the whole track assembly. This would keep on running even though it's not attached to the rover except by the axles on the front. And then it just rests on it. You know, these plastic things aren't terribly sturdy, so you know how much you're going to expect from it anyway. You know, stuff pops off and everything. But uh, anyway. And I slipped an action motor in between them and held that with a splined axle piece and a couple of those little collars. It's got uh, some interesting features. You know, it's obviously pretty tall, right? But the reason I did it that way was for maximum ground clearance. As you can see, it's pretty good ground clearance for an NXT. And it's got some anti-tipping functions. As you can see, that little nose, even without this blade, that little thing right there, little diving board looking thing, that keeps it from tipping over that way if it's going over something. And the tail keeps it from tipping this way. And the light sensor does a bunch of different things. This is actually a, because uh, it's a 2.0, it's a light module. It has three LEDs in it, red, green, and blue, plus a light sensor. This is the ultrasonic module that tells you your proximity to something that the ultrasonic reflects off of. And there's my cat climbing the screen. And the only reason I really put the touch button in the back was just, you know, just to have something back there. And uh, when you touch it, it basically turns the whole program off. So if it backs into something or if you just want to shut it off, you can just scoot it and it'll go off. The blade is a piece of work. It's a uh, real pain in the ass to kind of, you know, layer these things up like this. So you kind of got to just be inventive with it. And then what I did was is I used a couple of attachment points and those kind of struts that snap over the balls. And that goes on to the action motor. And what that does is that allows it to cycle up and down without having to be programmed to go up and down. So you can, when you're remote controlling it, which my son loves to remote control this thing, you can just raise it or lower it by tapping the space bar, and then the arrow keys send the thing around. What the program does, okay, program is pretty basic. It's already loaded on there. Okay. So within an XT, it's got its little deal here. So you go to my file, you go to software files, and that's the program. Now before I run it, because it's got a light sensor, I made it so it would go dormant in the dark. So let me go into a nice dark room here. Okay, turn it on. And now when you get close to it, oh, it wants to know if I want to run it. Yep, yeah, I want to run it. It, it does a little light cycle. And then if anything is within a short distance of it, does this little warning routine. So anything in proximity of it. And eventually it runs out of things to react to. And it goes dormant. Like that. Okay. But you turn the light on. Pardon the bathroom. Anyway, once you walk by it, it does its same little routine. Jumps back and forth. But then it starts on its program. The program uses the ultrasonic to back it up, make a little pivot. It's a very simple program. And off it goes. Well, I've got it at slow speed right now. Anyway, now let me give you an example of what happens if it bumps into something. And it'll 
make it bump into my foot. See, it said goodbye, and it turned itself off. So it's pretty simple programming and stuff, but it's fun. And uh, my son loves driving it around with the keyboard, but I just wanted to learn more about programming them because they're, it's a pretty flexible language in XTG, and I'm going to see what else I can come up with. So, so far right now it's got a kind of a guard mode where if it's in a dark room and it's dormant it just burps at you and spins around and flashes its lights. Lights come on, you walk by it, then it starts off on its explorations with you.